What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making the sex on the beach. Something I never thought I would say on this channel, but it is a popular cocktail, so it's time we make it. But truth be told, for me, the only thing this drink reminds me is an overly sweet concoction and a very annoying song. Maybe for you, it's actually different. Maybe it's real sex on the beach. Who knows? Because the creator of this cocktail named it like that to pay tribute to the cool kids that were going down to Florida during spring break to party and have sex on the beach. Anyways, regardless of what this cocktail reminds you, today we're gonna make it, and we're gonna make it three ways. We're gonna make it the way it was made back in the days in the nightclubs, but we're also gonna make two elevated versions. Two versions that I would be actually very proud of serving in a craft cocktail bar. So if you guys are ready, Let's make some sex on the beach cocktails. All right, so we're gonna start with a club style sex on the beach. And to make it, we're gonna need some vodka and we're also gonna need some peach liqueur. Simply choose your favorite brands and stick to it for the three recipes. We're also gonna need some commercial orange and cranberry juice. To make the cocktail, we're simply gonna fill a large glass with ice in which we're gonna pour two ounces or 60 mils of vodka, two ounces or 60 mils of orange juice, and the same amount of cranberry juice. Now we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils of peach liqueur. Then with a bar spoon, we're gonna give a little stir to incorporate all the ingredients together and we're gonna garnish it with an orange wheel. And this is how we make a club style sex on the beach. But hold up, this is way too sweet and all we get is peach flavors. I'm sure I can do better and I'm gonna prove it with the pro version. All right, so for this one, as I said, we're gonna use the same vodka and peach liqueur, but we're gonna switch the commercial juices for fresh cranberries and oranges. We're also gonna need simple syrup. But first, we're gonna juice 400 ml of fresh orange juice, then we're gonna weight 150 grams of cranberries, and with an immersion blender, we're gonna blend all this together. We're gonna make a delicious tart and tannic orange juice. Don't worry, we're gonna make a little more than what we need for this recipe, but first, it is delicious, and second, and we're also gonna use it in the third cocktail. Now we're gonna need to filter it, and I'm using a coffee filter and a bar spoon to ease the process. Now you can bottle it up and start making the cocktail. We're gonna pour in a cocktail shaker one ounce and a half or 45 ml of vodka, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of peach liqueur, quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml of simple syrup, and three ounces or 90 ml of our delicious tart and tannic cranberry orange juice. Now we're gonna whip shake this cocktail. That simply means that we're gonna shake it with just one cube of ice. It's gonna emulsify the drink, it's gonna chill it down, but it's not gonna over dilute it. So now that we're done, we're gonna fill an eyeball with ice and we're simply gonna strain the cocktail over the ice. Then we can garnish it once again with an orange wheel and this is it. This is how I make my pro version of the sex on the beach. It is now perfectly balanced. We get beautiful tannins and acidity from the cranberries, delicious fruitiness from the fresh oranges and peach liqueur. This is what a sex on the beach should taste like. And now for the clarified one, we're gonna give some texture with gum arabic. We're gonna use honey instead of simple syrup, a black tea and vanilla infusion, and we're gonna clarify this with milk. It's gonna trap the bad tannins, it's gonna smoothen the rough edges of the cocktail. That's what we call milk washing. So first we're gonna weigh 10 grams of acacia powder or gum arabic, and we're gonna add to that 10 grams of water. We're gonna whisk a little bit, it's gonna make some kind of a paste, but don't worry about it. By the time we're ready to use it, it's gonna be perfect. So now in a pretty large container, we're gonna pour 4.5 ounces or 135 ml of vodka. To that, we're gonna add two and a quarter ounces or 67.5 ml of peach liqueur, 45 ml of our vanilla and black tea infusion, nine ounces or 270 ml of our fresh cranberry and orange juice, and one ounce of honey. Now in another container, we're gonna pour four ounces of whole milk. It is always important to start with the milk and then pour the cocktail over it. This is how we're gonna get the best result for the clarification. So now we need to filter this and I'm gonna use a coffee filter once again and pour the mixture over it. The first few ounces will be very cloudy, but this is normal. We need some time for the curdles to settle at the bottom of the filter to make the clarification perfect. So you're gonna wait for about a minute, then you're gonna switch the vessel and then every drop that will come out from this should be crystal clear. But buckle up guys, it's gonna take a little while. And by that I mean a pretty long while. So 
So once you're done with your filtration, it is time to add your now liquid gum arabic. It's gonna give some beautiful texture to your cocktail. You're gonna mix it up to make sure it is properly incorporated, and then you can bottle it up, place it in the fridge, and wait until you're thirsty. And this, my friends, is how we make a delicious, clarified sex on the beach cocktail. So once you're ready and you're thirsty, you're simply gonna add some ice into a double old-fashioned glass, and you're gonna pour whatever amount you want of that delicious concoction. You can give it a little stir if you want to make sure it is chilled properly. And then you're gonna garnish it with a dehydrated lemon wheel. This is an amazing cocktail, full of texture, fruity, but perfectly balanced. A little bit of tannins from the cranberry and the black tea. The vanilla plays perfectly with the peach flavor. It is amazing. And lastly, I would love to know which one are you? Are you a clobber from the 90s, a crafty cocktail maker, or a milk punch enthusiast? Let me know in the comments down below. So guys, that's it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day. And now, let's go burn the dance floor. Or not. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>